Have you ever wondered where all the rich and fancy people live in Michigan? Everything's getting all nice and fancy. Probably wondering if Michigan even has rich and fancy people. I mean, that'd probably be the first question to ask. Well, we do. There's actually over 214,000 millionaire households in Michigan. Is that a real number? Yeah. I get that. That's a real number. 214,000 millionaire households in Michigan. You, know, you want to know where they live? What cities they live in? What Detroit suburbs those millionaires live in? I can tell you because I made this video and we're starting now. If you're new here and new to me, my name is Paul and I make videos about all sorts of cities, areas, towns all over Metro Detroit, Michigan. So if you like what you see, you should subscribe to this channel because there's a good chance I've covered some of the stuff you're interested in or I will cover some of the stuff you're interested in because that's literally what I do. And if you want to move to any of these areas, reach out because I'm also a full-time real estate agent and I've helped hundreds of people make awesome decisions when moving to, from, or around the state of Michigan. And I can help you too. Just reach out, call me, text me, email me. Do whatever you gotta do to come through to me. Especially if you wanna move to one of these neighborhoods because they're expensive, they're fancy. I like fancy houses. I'm not a very fancy guy. Yeah, obviously. But I like fancy houses. Yeah, houses, that's my thing, right? Homes. All right, coming in at number 10 on the list is Troy, Michigan. So Troy has an average household income of $80,000 and an average home value of $335,000. The city of Troy is actually huge. They have a population of 80,000 people there. So it's the 11th largest city in the state of Michigan. It's the biggest wealthy suburb of Detroit. You're kidding. How big? It's big, like really big. 80,000 people, that's pretty big. So Troy is not only one of the richest cities in Michigan, it also comes up on a ton of websites as being one of the safest cities to live in. So don't take my word for it. You search that stuff up on your own. CNN even ranked it as the 22nd best place to live in the United States. In the United States. There's a whole bunch of cities in the United States. Troy is just one of them. Now I know that I said that the average home in Troy is $335,000, but there are some very, very expensive homes there. So just take a look around on Zillow, wherever. Coming in at number nine is Novi, Michigan. You know I love Novi, Michigan. You've got an average household income of $94,000 and an average home value of $560,000. It's over a half a million dollars is the average home price. This is not a cheap place to live. Novi is another big city. It's home to over 60,000 people. And again, this is another one that has been ranked over and over again as one of the best places to live in Michigan. Go ahead. If you don't believe me, search on the internet. You'll find it. Again, the average home price here is $560,000, but there are a ton of million dollar homes in the city of Novi. I actually made a video about the most expensive neighborhoods in Novi. You could check it out here. I think it'll be right there. If you want to buy in any of those neighborhoods, let me know. I'm your guy for sure. I don't think I really need to dive into how fancy the homes are here in Novi. Like I said, I made an entire video about it. I've also made videos about Novi's history and a bunch of other things about Novi. I highly recommend you watch some of those, especially if you want to move to Novi. I mean, it makes sense that you would watch the videos if you're planning on moving to a city. Well, yeah, duh. Number eight on the list is Gross Point Farms, GPF. Who says that? Nobody calls it GPF. I'm gonna call it GPF. That's gonna be my thing. Average income of $115,000 and an average home price of $268,000, which is sort of weird, because you know, it's higher income, but then the homes are a little bit cheaper. So Gross Point Farms is a northern suburb of Detroit, and it's part of the five cities in the points. You've got Gross Point Park, Gross Point, Gross Point Farms, Gross Point Shores, and Gross Point Woods. It's pretty gross over there. Only two of the Gross Points made it onto this list. So some people describe Gross Point Farms as an old timey small town. And a small town is right. There's only 9,400 people who live there. If you compare it to places like Troy, Troy's huge. Gross Point Farms is not. You could smush the population of Gross Point Farms in Detroit Eight times. Eight. Smush. Smush. The farms actually contains the actual point 
in Grosse Point. So if you're into that sort of thing, like geography, you can look it up. It's located just east of the Grosse Point War Memorial. So the cityscape of Grosse Point Farms varies widely. And you have everything from small bungalows to multi-million dollar mansions. It's crazy. Again, the average home price here is $268,000, but homes go well into the million. In the past year, 67 homes have sold in Grosse Point Farms over $500,000, and 16 of them were over a million. So you had 16 multi-million dollar homes or million dollar homes that have sold in Grosse Point Farms just in the past year. That's fancy. Coming in at number seven on the list is Rochester Hills, Michigan. Now Rochester Hills has an average income of $125,000 and an average home value of $370,000. So again, the average home price here is less than places like Novi, and the average income is a little bit more. Doesn't seem to make sense, but I guess it does. The main thing about this is that it's a large, wealthy suburb. So you've got about 70,000 people that live there, so it's spread out. So it's not as compact as some of the other areas that we're talking about here. It's funny because a lot of the people who contact me about moving to places like Novi and Northville also ask me about Rochester and Rochester Hills because they're very similar in the home styles and the way that they're set up, but they're in two totally different areas. And one of the drawbacks of Rochester, Rochester Hills is going to be the traffic, if, depending on where you work. So if you work in an area like Detroit, it depends on how bad the traffic is if you're going to get there. And if you need to get to the airport, it might take you even longer. It just depends on the time of the day, time of the year, time of the everything. It's time to stop. So there's a lot of green space and scenery and things to do here. So that's another reason why a lot of people love it. Tons of shopping, there's a lot going on in the area. You've got a nearby winery, you've got golf courses, I mean, Pretty sweet city. Another little fun fact is Eminem actually had a home here. You know, Eminem, the rapper, Mom Spaghetti, that guy. And Madonna grew up in the city. Cool, Madonna. This is her hometown. She's gone now. I don't think she's ever gonna come back. Never, ever, ever, ever. Next up on the list is Huntington Woods. There's no hunting going on in these woods. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting weapons. <laughs> it's not even really a woods. The city is only 1.47 square miles, and half of that is a golf course. So the average income here is $130,000, and the average home price is $360,000. Only about 6,200 people live here, so again, it's not like a super big city. Some people actually call it the city of homes because it's just a bunch of houses and a golf course. It's the Detroit Rackham Golf Course. Am I saying that right? Rackham? Rackham. Like playing pool. Rackham. I guess you could call it Rackham. That, that doesn't sound very good. Mmm. Ham. And this city was actually the hometown of Kristen Bell. So if you know who she is, if you don't, Google it, because I don't have time to explain. Coming in at number five on the list is Northville, Michigan. I, I love Northville. You've got a average household income of $145,000 here and an average home price of half a million dollars, $500,000. So it's split up into two different areas. You've got Northville, the city of Northville, and you have Northville Township. Now the city of Northville has 6,000 people that live there, roughly. And in the township of Northville, you have 28,000 people who live there. You'd think that the township would have less people because it just it just sounds like it'd be smaller, but it doesn't. It has way more. So one of the big reasons for the high prices on houses, again, average home price is 500,000. It just sort of goes up from there and it goes way up, is it's sort of a centralized location. It's close to everything. It's close to the freeway. It's close to the airport. You can get downtown really quickly. So people tend to love it. And if you go downtown, downtown Northville has a ton of stuff going on. Always, it seems like always. You've got summer concerts, you've got the farmer's market, you've got Christmas and winter events, including a chili cook-off, all sorts of things going on. So a lot of the homes in Northville or downtown Northville are Queen Anne style because it really grew during the Victorian area. What did you say? Era? Not area, it's era. The town has a festival that was called the Victorian Festival for a long time, but now it's just called the Heritage Festival and it happens every year. I have a number of videos that I've made about Northville because I love it, and you can check all of those out here. Finger guns. 
check them out after you're done with this. Don't watch them now. You're still in the middle of this. Next up on our list, coming in at number four, is Gross Point Shores. There's the other point, or another one of the points. You have an average household income of $150,000 and an average home price of $400,000. So it's actually, the homes are cheaper, kind of, than Northville. Now there's only 3,000 people who live here and it is one of the wealthiest areas in Michigan. Like 3,000, that's tiny, that's a little tiny city. Like a little. Who are you calling little? Very little. The city is actually located on Lake St. Clair, only 15 miles outside of the city of Detroit. It actually has the largest shoreline of all of the gross points. And the entire community is residential, so all of it is homes. So if you move to Gross Point Shores, you're gonna feel like you live on like a big, freshwater ocean. Lake St. Clair is only 430 square miles. I say only, but like 430, that's, that's a big lake, but it's not as big as the Great Lakes. The Great Lakes are huge. They're like legit oceans, they're massive. If you need to get anywhere, it's pretty close to things. It's only 19 minutes to get to the city of Detroit. That's about a half hour to get to the airport. So if you live there and you need to get to your jet a whole bunch of times because you're rich, get to the airport pretty quickly. 30 minutes, that's not bad. So it's a super family friendly city and there's tons of stuff to do there. There are a lot of historic old homes here, including the Edsel and Eleanor Ford House. And you can take a tour of that. So if you wanna check that out, you can go take a tour, even if you don't live there. Next up on our list is Bloomfield Hills, Michigan, with an average household income of $170,000, then an average home price of $580,000. So this is more expensive than a lot of the other places. This northern suburb of Detroit is technically the wealthiest city in Michigan. According to who? That's according to Bloomberg, not according to me. I don't, I don't write this stuff. And, it was ranked as one of the top 20 wealthiest cities in the United States because of all of the homes worth a million or more. There's like a ton of million dollar, multi-million dollar houses here. When you think of super fancy houses or when I think of super fancy houses, this is what my mind goes to. 39% of the homes located in Bloomfield Hills had a value over $1 million, over. And 30% of the homes here had a value in between $500 and $999,000. So that means that over 70% of the homes located in Bloomfield Hills are worth in between $500,000 and into the millions. Just to the moon. To the moon! So this is an old city. It was established in 1820, so there's a ton of historic sites here. And Cranbrook's also located here. So if you wanna check that out, you should check it out. But you probably already know that stuff if you've watched any of my other videos, like my top places to live in Oakland County. You can check it out here. All right, so number two on our list is Birmingham, Michigan. Oh, Birmingham, so fancy. So you've got an average household income of $170,000 and an average home value of $727,000. $727,000 is the average home price here. So it's tied with Bloomfield Hills for income, but the homes are just so much more expensive here. I had to put it as number two on our list. And it's bigger. You've got 21,000 people that live here in Birmingham. Now the city is located right between Detroit and Pontiac. So if you're trying to visualize where it's at, that's where it's at. And it's the hometown of both Tim Allen, Tim the Toolman Taylor, and David Spade. That's Joe Dirt. What? Oh yeah. If you didn't know and the voice of uh, Buzz Lightyear. To infinity and beyond! Buzz Lightyear, his voice, he lived here. Now if you grew up watching Toy Story and you wanna buy a house in one of these areas, I mean, that's awesome, good for you. Now Birmingham is awesome. It's filled with over 20 parks with a ton of stuff to do. Nature trails, sledding hills, playgrounds, golf courses, tennis courts, and baseball fields. It's just like packed with stuff. And the town actually has a central park, it's called Shane Park, and they have a ton of outdoor events here. You should check it out, especially if you live there. You move there, check that out. Birmingham has one of the best downtowns in the state. It's packed with stuff. My one frustration with it is, it's hard to find parking here. And you've gotta you know, rely on meters or the parking garage. It's a big difference from places like downtown Plymouth where it just has an open parking garage where you can park anytime and it's really easy to park. I could do an entire video 
about downtown Birmingham. I probably will. Stay tuned. All right, coming in at number one on our list is Beverly Hills, Michigan. With an average household income of $195,000 and an average home price of $340,000? That's all? That's all. Seems weird, right? But we're going by income here. Not to be confused with Beverly Hills 90210. This is Beverly Hills 48025. It's not even close to being the same thing. 48025 just really doesn't have the same ring to it, right? So I mean, that's probably why they didn't do a TV show. But if they want to do a TV show, I'd love to be a part of that. Beverly Hills, Michigan is actually a village. It's not a town or a city. It's a village. So you can move there and you can be a villager. Rich villager making a bunch of money. So this village is only about four square miles and has a population of a little over 10,000 people. So it's not huge, but it's bigger than a lot of these other ones on the list. And there's actually not a lot of super fancy real estate for you to park your Corvette in front of. Look at you, Steve Sanders. Wait a second, who is that? If you don't get the Steve Sanders reference, then I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do. It's a Beverly Hills 90210, 90210 reference. That's what it is. Hopefully we, we included a clip in here. Steve Sanders, a sweet vet. Over the past year, only three houses have sold over a million dollars. So it's not like packed with mansions like some of the other places are. People here apparently like to save their cash. They're like Scrooge McDuck, it's saving your cash, they're diving into it, just stack it. Maybe not coins though. That always seemed weird, just jumping into coins. Seemed like you'd kill yourself. So a lot of wealthy people like to live here because it's very peaceful, it's quiet, and it's close to pretty much everything. It's only 22 minutes to the city of Detroit and 27 minutes to the airport. Not bad. Save your cash. Live somewhere nice. They've got a bunch of parks and stuff like that too, so if you're looking for things like that, you can find them. So what do you think? Do you want to move to any of these cities? If you do, reach out. Let me know because I can help. And if you want to sell your house, if you live in any of these cities, I could be your guy for that too. And if you're still looking for other cities and towns to move to, check out some of these other videos and playlists around here and I will see you there.